Hello, everybody. This is Mike again. I think it's day 15 uh, of my 100-day juice fast, and it's going pretty good. And I'm still stuck around 250. Uh, I made a mistake the other night. Um, they went to play um, poker at a club, and in order to be part of, part of playing the poker is you're supposed to support the club. Uh, they provide the space and the uh, cap uh, for the for the uh, poker games at the club nightclubs. It's kind of like uh, instead of hiring a DJ, they just uh, sponsor a poker league to play uh, poker in their clubs, and uh, they, the poker league has 15, 20 people show up to play poker, and uh, the idea is to. Uh, you know, hopefully they sell drinks, food, whatever at the club to uh, make enough money to make it a, a good idea. So anyway, uh, in order to support the club, I said, well, I'm on a fast, uh, juice fast. Uh, they didn't have any iced tea for me, so what can I do? And I said, well, let me uh, try a, a virgin um, Bloody Mary. I mean, that's tomato juice, why not? So I had uh, a couple of Virgin Bloody Marys. I guess the salt level in those things are so high, it just put the, uh, it put two pounds right back on me like almost, well, overnight. So uh, I was very unhappy with my weakness there, uh, but it is, is still juicing, uh, I will admit, I ate the olives that came with the drink, uh, but I mean two olives, I mean, that's not gonna, it's not that big a deal I don't think, but in any case, I'm back on my solid food vacation, um, I'm back, I got rid of all that salt water in my uh, body I believe over the last two days. Uh, I didn't report in yesterday, I'm just reporting in today. I'm going to start reporting in more like once a week. Uh, I just wanted to uh, update you on my first 15 days and how it's going. And I'm going to do it at uh, 20, 30, maybe 25, 20, 25, 30, or maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on. Uh, I am going to put in some other videos. Uh, uh, I've been working on my... Uh, compost bin that uh, I put in the other day. I got my worms from Jim's Worms. I think it's Uncle Jim's Worms or something like that. You can look it up. Just look up uh, worms on the uh, on the internet and you'll find his website. And He's the number one supplier of worms. I get mine uh, through Amazon. Uh, no, I ordered them directly. I take that back. I also ordered a, uh, a brick it was a small brick of coconut core, koi core. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. C O I R core, and uh, it's just a it's a, like a, a small freeze dried brick of coconut. You you add uh, it's about the size of a large brick, and uh, you just add water to it, 10, 10 cups of water, and soak it for about uh, an hour or two, and it just swells into a big half gallon bucket of uh, kind of like a peat moss and uh, then I took uh, my worms that came I ordered them both at the same time they both came at the same time and then I, I had something to put my worms in I put my worms in there and I did a little research on what's the best thing to feed worms and they I, my conclusion is uh, newspaper and cardboard boxes so I uh, had a few cardboard boxes laying around and uh, we get deliveries all the time at the house and cardboard boxes and usually throwing them out. And now I'm just gonna start uh, recycling those boxes by uh, shredding them. I, my shredder's good enough to run a cardboard box through it. I mean, you cut it up into strips and, uh, it, but it can run the thickness of cardboard. Uh, easily so I shred the cardboard and I shred uh, newspaper if I have one I don't take the newspaper 
but they do throw a free paper out in my driveway once a week. And I had one laying out there. I just picked it up and shredded it and threw it in there. So that's that's the food for it. You soak it. And once you uh, shred it, you soak it and drain the water off and then uh, throw it in there with the worms. Then they love it and they'll turn it into beautiful compost. Uh, you don't want all uh, vegetables in there, uh, you know, just vegetable, leftover vegetables and fruits and vegetables in your compost bin because it, uh, you need to have more carbon than nitrogen. The fruits and vegetables are nitrogen. You need to have more carbon. The cardboard and paper is the carbon. So uh, for the worms. So uh, I found I found that out. Last time I did my worms, I was doing mostly all uh, fruits and vegetables, and I wound up with the fruit flies, <laughs> and it, it uh, pretty much destroyed the worms colony. So. Uh, all the maggots did. So now I'm I'm uh, outside, uh, and and I was doing it in the garage before in big uh, storage tubs, and that didn't work out very well. So uh, live and learn. So now I'm outside. I got me a compost bin, and it's uh, going pretty good. Uh, I got my worms. I haven't put them in the bin yet. Uh, I need to go. I just ordered a big, large brick of coconut core, which will fill up the bottom of that bin. And I probably got to go buy some uh, uh, peat moss. I'm going to go buy some uh, newsprint. That's what the uh, movers use to pack your paper, your your stuff with, uh, your, your small trinkets and things. As they're packing up to move you, they wrap everything in newsprint. It's uh, there's no there's no printing on it. I don't know why they call it newsprint, but it's uh, it's paper that uh, is like newspaper with no print on it. And uh, I'm just gonna go buy a moving and storage company and buy a case of that, and then I'm gonna start shredding that, and then I'm gonna layer that in the bottom, and then I can I got to, I got a five gallon bucket of the worms going right now, and I got I fed them a bunch of cardboard and. Uh, coconut core this morning also there's some uh you can buy worm food and i uh i have some leftover worm food i'm gonna probably sprinkle a little bit of that in there it kind of looks like uh um malto meal or something like that but anyway i'm gonna throw that in there a little bit of that and then i'm gonna throw all of that into the bin once i get a good base down on the bin on top of so that they just don't go down into the ground i want something to kind of for them to live in so i want to so happy worms happy compost or <laughs> happy worms good compost but anyway it's it's a little process to start your compost bin so i am working on that and uh i'm back to my green juice diet i uh I bought, remember I told you I got some Ocean Spray uh, five calorie uh, cran apple, cran, cran grape. I didn't think it would uh, uh, mess me up too much, but it did. So I'm laying off this stuff, but I do use the jugs for my green juice as I cruise around on, on the road. So this is a good uh, for 64 fluid ounces. It's almost full. And uh, so this, I'm going to drink on this all day. And uh, so right now I'm also uh, kind of stopped um, at uh, a very popular uh, fast, a gas station in the Houston area. And that's where I'm at in the Houston area that uh, has really good tea. And I'm going to go get me a nice tea. And, I, and they, they have stevia and lemon juice in there to put in my tea, which is, uh, I like that. So uh, I, use a, I like to use stevia. So instead of artificial sugars, uh, stevia is a uh, sweet, sweetener that's uh, plant-based. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's not sugar, <laughs> it's not processed sugar. It's not chemicals like uh, the other, the pink, yellow, and blue sugars, sweeteners. Uh, it is a natural plant-based sweetener. So 
I'll be using that and along with my lemon. Uh, they provide uh, fresh lemon, make it really taste really well. And then I'll be set for the day and then uh, I'm gonna be hitting the road today. Uh, in, case you, in case you're wondering about me, I'm, I'm retired and I do a few different things. And uh, where am I hitting the road? Well, I like to do Uber driving. I think it's fun. I get to meet a lot of neat people. I met a guy, a uh, 20-year-old from Russia. He's a student. He's been here from Russia. He's fixing to go home to, tomorrow. And uh, we had a great. We had a good uh, hour trip uh, from where he was working. He was here on a work visa for the summer, student work visa, and. Uh, Spoke really good English, so this, he said it was his second time, summer he spent here making money, and uh, he really wa he wanted to come back next year, but he said if you keep, each time you come back, they make it harder because they're afraid you're going to stay or something like that, so uh, he, he likes coming here and spending his summer. He says he makes a, enough money here that most people make in a, in a year uh, in Russia, so uh he enjoys it and and he enjoys the uh, he enjoys america he enjoys the people he enjoys working here and he's just a good kid uh living his life and anyway so i had a good conversation with him we talked about his homeland a little bit and he uh and that's why i like the uber driving i get a lot of people don't like to talk at all they just want to sit back there and listen to their ear pods and or talk on the phone with somebody else and or, and don't want to carry a conversation. You just, and then you get other people that uh, will talk your ear off. And so it's, <laughs> it's an interesting uh, way to meet people and, and uh, make a little extra money. You know, like I say, I'm retired. I'm on uh, uh, my retirement pension and social security. So I, I really don't need to do this, but I do it just uh, to uh, keep myself busy and that's what I do. So uh, I thought I'd open up about that just a little bit since you see me out here uh, doing some videos in my car and driving around a little bit. So I thought I'd let you know what, what am I really up to. So now I do belong to a health club and uh, I need to get over there. I think I'm gonna try to get over there again today and uh, do a little bicycle, little treadmill little sweat box, lift a little bit of weights, do, do a little cardio and some uh, muscles and abs and stuff like that. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. And anyway, uh, this is Mike again. I'm gonna check out, I'll probably won't check back in. Well, I may check back in with you a little bit and let you, and show you what I'm doing with my, uh, my compost. I think that's be an interesting uh, subject for people would like to know something more about what I'm doing and uh, after a little research or what I've have learned uh, some lessons I've learned through trial and error okay so uh, this is Mike again we'll sign signing out we'll talk to you next week